Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates Wave 66, Captain America Civil War, Captain America, and Winter Soldier. Alright, so Captain America Civil War came out a month ago. And I'm just now reviewing the Minimates. I can explain. I just honestly recently got the packs from this movie because... Eh... I've got some problems with this wave, but I wanted to get some of the figures. I wanted Bucky. I wanted Black Panther. So I figured I'd just get the whole wave. But, eh. Something about this. So, Captain America Civil War. I liked it. It wasn't the best Marvel movie. It wasn't my favorite. But I liked it. I liked some of the scenes. I thought the whole conflict was really dumb. Because it feels like they could have just sat down and talked it out. Instead, they just be fought. I don't know. So, it had some good parts, had some bad parts. It was just there. Also, didn't really like the ending. It was just kind of like, whoa, come see the next one. Anyway, packaging-wise, you've got this nice sort of white-bluish backdrop. Showing off Captain America and Iron Man, the Avengers. With interchangeable parts, we have Captain America Civil War with Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Captain America, Bucky, and on the back we have the roster featuring Battle Damaged War Machine, Guard, War Machine, Black Panther, Iron Man, Mark 46, Captain America, and the Winter Soldier. So, let's begin. Captain America. When his old friend James Bucky Barnes is accused of crimes against America, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, must track him down and prove his innocence. Winter Soldier. Brainwashed to be an agent of Hydra, Bucky was in and out of cryogenic suspension for nearly 70 years. He has since escaped their control and now lives off the grid. First up we have Captain America. Alright, it's Captain America, the title character of the movie. Eh. I don't really know why they called it Captain America Winter Soldier. Well, I do know why, because money. When it really wasn't, like, just about Captain America. I mean, there were so many characters in the movie, they really should have just called it Avengers Civil War. But instead, it was Captain America. Okay, then. And, you know, I'll be honest, I have this figure already in a different series. He is too similar to the Captain America from Age of Ultron. Like, I realize that because they're basically the same costume, sans a couple small changes, but, I mean, they're basically the same. And it's not even a super cool design to begin with. So, it's really a disappointing figure. But I suppose, you know, if you're into Captain America, you're going to want this guy. And I suppose he's not terrible. Just, these Civil War figures have been a real disappointment for me. Because, like, I got them, and I was like, oh man, they're going to be okay. And then only, like, one or two of the figures were actually, like, anything good. He's just okay. I mean, he's got some detailing, obviously. It's fairly accurate pretty intricate it's clean leg detailing there's the boots it's got his belt his harness Avengers logo on his shoulder looks nice but I mean I don't know I'm just not feeling this guy like at all he's got his gloves it's just it's just too similar like, I realize they're this, basically the same costume, like I said. Just something about it just kind of puts me off. And then the face. We've seen this mask before, nothing new. I mean, the egg's nice, but it's just nothing new. I don't know. He's got an angry face underneath, which is nice, instead of just kind of a neutral expression. Because angry cap is... it's different. But it's not different enough. So articulation-wise, Captain America can do... Most... Things. And accessory-wise... 
display stand, an alternate glove if you don't want to have the shield, hair piece, which is the same one they've used before, and I want to talk about this hair piece in a later video, and the shield. And I'll be honest, I really don't like the mold for the shield. It's just really flat. It's okay, I guess. Just... It's, it's just okay. That's all I've got. Overall, Captain America is just okay. Nothing really special. Next up, we have the Winter Soldier. All right, here's a figure that's a bit better than Cap, I'll be honest. Like, the Winter Soldier is pretty decent, but he's got one incredible flaw that makes him just okay and not anything like, oh man, I need this guy. And it's a very simple mistake. So, you know how a Winter Soldier has a robot arm? According to Diamond Select Toys, he has a robot arm but a human hand. So in pre-production shots and preliminary photos, he has a robotic hand with a glove, but here they just gave him a normal hand, and honestly, it throws me off so much. And yeah, I know, I could just throw on like a black hand or something, or even paint this part silver, but just, I don't, I don't know, it's so weird. But otherwise, it's a decent figure. This part just ruins it. Like, I actually like this guy. I guess I'll get, just give him a black hand. I don't know. You can see he's got a zipped up jacket. It looks nice. Crotch piece to just have a bigger, like, jacket look. Tactical pants, boots. They're nice. He's even got a little bit of subtle detailing on his arm and a fingerless glove. Some detailing on the back. I believe his arm is just a repurpose of the one from the Winter Soldier movie. But hey, it's nice. It's got the star. It's good. Hairpiece is also the one they used from the Winter Soldier movie. And here, I do like the face. I don't think it's like a perfect representation of Sebastian Stan. But it's pretty decent, and you know what? Kind of looks like Ego Raptor from Game Grumps, and I'm just gonna say that. Articulation wise, I mean, you can do basically everything. And accessory wise, display stand, and he has a bit of accessories. He's got submachine gun, handgun. It's really weird, because these are almost exact repurposes of accessories he's had from Winter Soldier. To the point where he has not one, but two knives. But here's the thing. Nothing can holster his accessories. Like, they really should have just given him the belt from Winter Soldier and his little holsters. Like, I don't think they would have been movie accurate, but they would have been toy functional. So, that's a bit disappointing. I love it when figures have holsters that are functional. But, oh well. If anything, the Winter Soldier is definitely better than Cap. So, overall, that was the Marvel Minimates Wave 66, Captain America Civil War, Captain America, and Winter Soldier. Honestly, this is not the best wave ever. I like Bucky. I think he's decent. He could even be good if he just had the right hand and some holsters. Cap? Ugh. He's okay. I mean, honestly, he's functional. There's nothing objectively wrong with him. He's just too similar for me to the one from Age of Ultron. And there's nothing super special about him that makes him, like, anything incredible. So, eh, I'm not looking forward to doing the Iron Man pack. I will say, though, the best figure in the wave is in that pack, by far. But this pack has not been anything special. And that's kind of the reason why I held off on doing these reviews, because I honestly 
It was just kind of like, eh, do I really want to talk about them? But I figured why not? I would give it a shot. But there it is. Not the best mini mates. I'm hoping for something great. Because I'm just getting kind of tired of seeing the same costumes over and over and over again. Same characters. So, hopefully we get something new soon. Because, eh. Oh well. That's all I gotta say. That's me rambling. Anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Check me out on social media. And did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.